Why is it so hard making nail content for your nail business? What is it about making content for your business that is so incredibly difficult? When we started making nail content, it was insanely hard. I had never done it before. This was brand new project experience for me. Not to mention that I was never the one that was on camera, right? So extremely, extremely difficult for me. I didn't know what people were gonna think. I walked into it terrified. Probably how a lot of people feel today trying to make nail content, right? Because when you make content, the thing is is that it's public. It's there for everybody to see. That's a little bit different than doing a project on your own. When you do a project on your own, if you fail, it's your failure, right? Which is not easy to do, that's still hard. But when you're making content and it's not going well, well, it's there for everybody to see. I'm here to tell you that I literally went down the same path that a lot of people are going through. It was no different for us. We didn't just pick up the camera or I just picked up the camera and started making content and knew that, oh my God, this is gonna work. I had no idea. I had zero clue. The only thing I knew was we had to do something different. I knew that video content, making videos for nails, any type of business value that we could add for you was the answer. I didn't specifically know uh, if it was gonna work or not, right? It was a hunch. Well, the hunch was correct. It did work out for us, but four and a half years later, almost five years ago now, I was terrified. The only thing I knew how to do was to just walk through it as a business owner. I'm, I'm used to doing that. And I think if you're a business owner, you have to get used to doing that. Y you just have to start making the content, okay? So like, what do I mean by that? Well, it's better to start putting videos on social media than to overthink it, overthink it, overthink it. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh my God, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, stop, ah. You know, and you, you drive yourself absolutely crazy. Then to just say, you know what? Today, I'm gonna do a video on natural nails, how to keep them healthy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do a video on filing. You know, what files I use, why I use these files, and why I like them. The next video I'm gonna do is how I hold my brush. The next video I'm gonna do is the cleanliness of my salon, why I think it's important. These are all solid content ideas that you could do, right? You have to focus on making the video for the other person, not, not yourself, giving value. Here's a good example for you, just something to think about. How many times have you come across a video on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, where the quality was caca, right? <laughs> Horrible quality, but the information was of such value to you, so good that you're like, oh, and you watch the video and you watch it again and watch it again because you're interested in learning something or, or in that craft. You as a nail technician, your business depends on creating content these days. I think so. I think it's really, really important, right? It's not the only way, but I think it is the main way to, to grow your business. If you're just putting out good information for your clients, showing them that you're an expert in your field, hey, this is how when I do acrylic, I make sure that the finger is pointing down when I'm building the body. These are the reasons why. They're gonna look at that and go, yo, she or he is an expert at doing nails. I wanna go there, make the content. Don't worry about quality, you need some high expensive camera. You've got one right here. Use your phone, get a stand, get a ring light, spend 150 bucks, boom, you've got a setup. Start making the video, post two, three times a week, then post once a day then post a couple times a day, then start doing TikTok content, you start expanding. The better you get, the more efficient you get, the faster you get, and you're not gonna be spending all your time making video. Instead, you're gonna be spending all your time on just the content ideas of like, oh, this would be cool, this would be cool, this would be cool, and then you just shoot and you post. Most people do the opposite. They're like, they're not thinking about the idea of the, the, the content in terms of like, what's gonna be good for the for my clients or, or my, my customers. Instead, they spend all their time thinking, what camera should I get? What should the backdrop look like? What's the lighting? How perfect should it be? And nobody cares about that. What they care about is, are you giving them information that they're interested in, regardless of what the camera looks like, the lighting looks like. Later on, you can focus on that and you can get it better, but until then, focus on just giving that value. Don't worry about if you're scared, I was scared too, and start making videos now.
you so much for watching our nail videos. To check out more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.